Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can open up the assembly on this yellow jacket super evac vacuum and uh, clean the inside of this uh, vacuum pump. So there are four screws, there are two on this side and two on the other back side. But before you do any of this, there is a drain plug on the very back and uh, you have to drain all the oil. And um, I have another video, I'm going to leave it down in the link below, which, which shows you how you can drain that entire oil from this assembly and then uh, replace it. But for this purpose, you know, I've already drained the oil, so I'm not going to show you that uh, video, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove these four screws and then remove this assembly and then we'll see what's inside, you know. Now there is another screw right here, which you also have to unscrew, but uh, we'll see. First, I'm going to remove these four screws and see. Looks. Now, there are two at the very bottom too, and these are hard to get. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to remove this. I think I still have to remove the top one because I don't think it's to remove it. As soon as you remove this, the whole assembly comes off. And over here, you can see all that gunk that is sitting right at the bottom. So that is why it's important for you guys to clean it once in a while. Let me show you guys how it looks like from here. So as you can see there are some oil drips. This is the seal but you want to make sure you save it. Mine looks in good condition so I think I'm going to reuse it. And uh, over here you can see all that gunk and I think this is what you need to remove. So I'm just going to take a clean rag and just wipe everything down. Now you don't want to hold it from here while you're moving it because remember the handle is right here so it can't do much. I'm going to use the motor to grab a hold of the whole, whole thing. And the best thing you can use is some kind of sharp edge blade you know to get this off. Smooth everything out. And same thing over here. These are some of the rust particles because of moisture. See how much stuff you have here. And this is a lot of gunk. So I'm kind of glad that I took everything apart. And I'm going to go ahead and clean that out really good. So, guys, here you can see this is literally LG build up, you know, and this is very shameful because, uh, you know, whoever maintained this pump didn't really do a good job, you know. So I, I picked it up used, you know, um, so I had no idea how it was maintained, but it seems like the oil in there was not replaced and it was holding a lot of moisture, which uh, leads to algae buildup, you know, which I'm kind of surprised because the oil is supposed to prevent algae, but I guess not. So, you know, I'm going to have to really clean this entire thing up really good. Um, and uh, again, you want to get everything out as much as you can. I would not suggest you putting any kind of chemical in to kill the algae, but uh, try to clean it with some kind of uh, non-abrasive stuff. So I may use a brake cleaner or something. I think I've seen some of the guys use that. Um, so let's see how it comes out. Okay, so I'm using this throttle body cleaner. Now I need to clean the side glass as well because my side glass is kind of dirty so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, spray it inside you can 
see it's pretty. So I'm gonna give it a there you go. Clean up pretty good. Yep. Now I'm gonna just clean the inside of it. Just take a rag and clean out. Just wipe it down so it's nice and clean. And one thing I did, I took the bolt out so while I'm spraying any debris or anything, it can just come out that hole. see it's looking pretty good okay guys so I took a 400 grit sandpaper just tear a small piece and uh, we'll clean it from inside which is enough go ahead and clean it one more time with this Let's see. Go ahead and clean the side glass one more time. There you go. That's the best I can get it out. So everything is looking nice and clean. And now I'm going to put the gasket and put everything back together. This, this thing I already got as much as I could clean up, you know, just so with a piece of rag. You don't want to spray anything on here because this is all the you know, vacuum stuff. So just make sure you do a good job in scraping any rust that you have and um, try not to scratch anything, you know, and uh, just clean up, especially the sides, you know, you may want to clean this very good. So it seals in pretty good, you know, with the new gasket or the old one if you're using it. But uh, just try to clean as much as you can on that side. And once you're done cleaning, that's pretty much it. Now you can slap everything together. And that should pretty much be it. Make sure it's nicely seated, it's not popping up. And then uh, it's just a matter of putting the pump on top of it. Alright guys, so you just want to make sure you tie these bolts pretty good, you know all six of them, there are two at the bottom, two on the side, two on the other side, and uh, one on top. So with that, you know, that's pretty much it. Now um, just remember to fill it up, you know, make sure you put that cap back and top it off, you know, with that level. And uh, that should be it, you know, your pump is going to be running a lot longer if you do this maintenance so guys hopefully it helps you guys do maintenance on your uh, yellow jacket pool pump or any other pool pump they're all pretty much the same so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you